How are you doing today? Um, we are still uh, solving past paper questions about coordinate geometry. Credit goes to Cambridge Examinations. You check my website explainingmaps.com for all my free resources including many more of these types of videos. So coordinate geometry, gradients, equations of lines, the points of intersection, what does it say in the diagram? The points A and C lie on the X and the Y axis. Um, respectively. So already I'm going to write something there because that makes the coordinate C 0 and then a Y coordinate. The coordinate A is going to be an X coordinate 0. I'm sure that's going to be useful soon. And the equation of AC, so from point A to C, 2Y plus X equals 16. Now I'm going to write that there too, a little arrow. And I'm a big fan of the gradient intercept form, so I'm going to rearrange it straight away. Uh, and I'm, because I do not have a lot of space, I'm going to do all of those steps in one go. But you make sure you are able to rearrange this equation into that form too, eh? where then minus a half is the gradient, which makes sense, it's going down. And eight is the y-intercept, so you see I can already, on those dots, say, well, that has to be eight. Okay, again, I do not have a lot of, I do not have a lot of space, so that's why I'm skipping those steps now. Um, the point B has coordinates 2, 2, as you can see. Okay, the perpendicular from B to AC, yeah, so the perpendicular line from B to the line AC, um, meets AC at the point X. Okay, as you can see, 90 degree angle over there, perpendicular. You see how much time I take uh, to analyze the question before I start answering it, yeah? because all of this is in important. By the way, that X coordinate I can also find because y is zero here, so um, a half x, or maybe you want to use this one, when y is zero, then it says x equals 16. So let me plug there 16 already. I'm sure I'm gonna need that in a minute. Now, what does it say for four points? Find the coordinates of x. Okay, there you go. Um, yeah, four points, so there is quite some work involved. Now we have um, the equation of AC. Now we want to find the equation BX and then we'll find the point of intersection by equal, uh, by setting those two equations equal to each other. So the equation BX standard, I'm going to do that here, uh, gradient intercept form, I'll do it in red. So Y equals MX plus C, where M is the gradient and C the Y intercept. Now the gradient you can calculate if you have two coordinates, yeah, dy over dx, but now I only have one coordinate. However, they say the line is perpendicular. So what does that mean when two lines are perpendicular? Then their gradients are each other's negative reciprocal. What does that mean? So if the gradient of AC is minus 1 over 2, then the gradient of BX is going to be 2 over 1, so 2, and the opposite sign, so a positive 2. Yeah? So I flip it around, the reciprocal, and I change the sign. So the, uh, the gradient of BX is 2x plus C. There you go, perpendicular lines. Now what about C? I, do not, I cannot see the y-intercept, but I can calculate it. I can plug in the point they give me, 2, 2, y is 2 when x is 2, so um, that's going to be 4, 2, minus 4, so c is minus 2. And again, because I do not have a lot of space, I'm going to write down straight away 2x uh, minus 2. Eh? So c is minus 2. Again, 2 minus 4 minus 2. There we go. So that's the equation bx. Let me put a box around that. That gives me a lot of points, that equation. And to find the coordinates of x, x lies on bx but also on the line ac so i'm going to equal the two equations to each other so 2x minus 2 equals minus a half x plus 8 so rearranging 2 and a half x equals 10 divide both sides by 2 and a half the x coordinate is 4 so the x coordinate over there is 4 so 4 comma what about the y coordinate I had to ask for the coordinates, and it means x and y. So I can plug 4 into one of the equations, whatever you prefer. Let's do this one. So 2 times x, 2 times 4 is 8 minus 2, 6. There we go. So 4, 6 is the answer to that first question. 4, 6. Fantastic. Moving on, the point D. There's no point D yet. The point D is such that the quadrilateral ABCD has AC as a line of symmetry. So A, B, C, and then that point D should be somewhere over there, as I'm sure. 
as I'm sure you will agree with me. So let me just sketch it. So uh, over here, if that works, there we go. And I'll put a D there. And then we have quadrilateral ABCD, where AC is uh, a line of symmetry, yeah? which is a beautiful kite, of course. Now they're asking me to find the coordinates of D. Um, and you will have to extend that line BX uh, twice as far. And from B to X, it is two to the right and four up yeah, from any X coordinates horizontally from two to four. So again, two to the right and vertically from two to six. So four up, let me just put that there for you. Yeah? That's two, four. So from X to D, I have to do the same translation. So again, I'll have to go two to the right and four up. So if X coordinate is four, six, two to the right and four up, is going to give you the coordinate 6, 10. Yeah? So that's the answer for II, 6, 10. There we go. And then finally, find correct to one decimal place. Oh, I'm going to underline that, but I always forget that. I do three significant figures because it's just automatism. But now they want it correct to one decimal place. The perimeter of ABCD, ABCD. So we've got to find the length of AB plus the length of BC, and then we can multiply it by two because it's symmetrical. So we do not have to find four lengths, we find two lengths, and then we multiply it by two. Well, the length of a line segment, uh, you use Pythagoras' theorem. Uh, let me do it for one of them, I will show you why we use Pythagoras, because uh, for AB, we will turn that into a right angle triangle, and please check my website explainingmaths.com where I explain this in a lot of detail. Uh, anyway, we have the right angle triangle and then AB is the hypotenuse of that triangle. Now let's have a look at the length of the other two uh, sides. This one goes from 2, uh, the x coordinate 2 to 16, so that has a length of 14, 16 minus 2. And vertically it goes from 0 to 2, so that one has a length of 2. So what is the length of AB? AB will have a length of the square roots of 2 squared plus 14 squared. Um, and that is 196 plus 4, the square root of 200. There you go. Okay. And uh, because A squared plus B squared equals C squared, uh, C is the hypotenuse AB, so the square root of A squared plus B squared. There we go. And then for BC, BC is going to be the square root of. Now, uh, let me see, horizontally from 0 to 2, so 2 squared, and vertically from 2 to 8, so that is a length of 6. So 2 squared plus 6 squared, 36 plus 4, so that is 40. Okay? If you add that, and then you multiply it by 2, so all of that times 2, and I'm going to skip that step, because um, out of time, we're already busy eight minutes and I don't know, nobody's gonna watch uh, that long. But you have to multiply it by two because it's a symmetrical figure. And if you round that correct to one decimal place, I've just plugged it in my calculator, you're gonna get 40.9 uh, units, I believe, because this doesn't say anything about centimeters, do they? Yeah, 40.9 units, or just 40.9. Fantastic, I hope that was useful. Like and share if it was. And check my website, explainingmaps.com, uh, for all my free resources. Take care. Bye-bye.